Hello everyone, this video is about Black App. So we will implement a lot of functionalities in this app and it will help help you. This is I will I used the modern stack, okay MongoDB, ReactJS, ExpressJS, and Node.js. So first of all, let's this is the demo that we will perform in this video. These are the functionalities. Okay. So first of all, we will create a new record. Let's log out from the system. So first of all, we will create a new record. Okay, using uh, registration. Okay, we will register a new record. After that, we will use login to the login to uh, log out login to the system. Whenever we logged into this to the system, for example, let's log in. Also, I used to hash the password and also token generation. I performed all these. So let's log in. Whenever I logged in, uh, so we see the registration login has changed to logout and also the create button has added for, for that okay the one who is not logged in he cannot uh, create a post so for example i would like to edit or delete this post i will press on this one okay this post i cannot edit and delete because this post is not done by me okay this post is done by uh, another user user this post is done by me okay let's move to it see I can edit and delete this post because this post was done by me I created this post so if I want to edit it so let's press the edit I would like to edit updation I will just add this one okay I added these two a few things let's update it see that has updated if I want to delete it I can delete it see that has deleted and this post is not done by me I cannot edit and delete this one so let's log out now from the system if when I log out now I will log in as an, a second user Yusuf at gmail.com 5 let's log in so if I move to this post so now can I edit and delete this post because this post was done by Yusuf so it is all about this uh, um, blog up that we will um, uh, uh, upload files we will uh, register accounts and we will log in and we will perform uh, password hashing uh, token generation and also different users and to post to, to post a record to edit that to delete that we will perform all these functionalities in this one video so let's get started before starting if you are new don't forget to subscribe it and like this video and support me so let's get started so for this blog post, uh, so first of all, I will create React in server app. So I have created an empty folder with the name of blog app. So now let's create uh, one another app for our server side. Okay, so let's create name it server. What happened? Let's create it server and let's open the terminal. And let's move to the CD server. Uh, inside that let's uh, uh, install npm in it hyphen y so it will just initialize it and it will just create a package register file inside this and after that let's install a few packages npm install uh, express which is the framework of node.js mongos which will be used for the mongo database cars which will be used to access our api in a front end nodmon which is used to refresh our server side up automatically whenever we make some changes uh, and also um, something what else we need bcrypt to use it is used to um, just uh, hash our password uh, and json web token it is used to uh, for authentication for first for the security and uh, another packages would be uh, that is cookie parser which will be used for the cookie handling and multer and path these two are used for the file uploading so let's install now for now these okay let's press enter so these will be installed right now yeah the packages has installed successfully okay so now let's create one another file inside this folder that would be like index.js in this file we will write our um, backend or server side code so it was all about uh, creating our uh, server side app so now let's create our front end app so for the front end let's come here back see this uh, cd yeah we came to the black app folder so here i will write npm in it uh wait okay which is used to create react app this is the new method we don't use create react app but we are using uh, which instead of that because it is passed so let's assign a project name let's assign client and let's select framework react and let's select javascript and after that let's move cd to the client folder 
and after that light npm install it will install the dependencies let's wait for it yeah the packages has installed so let's install two more packages npm install axis which is http request and response library and also the react router down which is used for routing router down let's install these two also so the front end in the server side app has created so let's run, run the power uh, our react server npm run do so it will run our react app yeah let's move to this url so it is what okay it is our react app that we has created right now so it was all about creating server side and react app so now we, we will move into create to write our code so now we will create just uh, first of all uh, the now bar okay we will start our coding let's move to our front end react app okay this is our client app let's come here to the app.j6 uh, let's create a new uh, component by the name of now bar j6 and here we will just write the react functional component export and here i will write the code of now bar so in the now bar uh, let's assign a class name here and also uh, let's create uh, 3d inside this and in the first one let's uh, write first one is the um, for example blog up and the second one is the um, menu that we have uh, i will just write here instead of this let's write a tag is this is for the home and this is for create post and this is for contact So after this, uh, let's write here. This would be like H5 or yeah, H5. Register or login. Uh, now I will just add CSS code to this to design it to make a no bar. Okay, I will just add some CSS design for this. So I have, I have added some CSS design to this no bar. It looks like this. Okay, let's see the code. This is the styles that we has added. Okay, just these two uh, few lines of code, and I imported that inside the now bar. So right now, um, whenever we click on this uh, register and login, we should move to the registration page. So let's create that the registration page. So for that, uh, we need uh, React Router DOM to create routing. So whenever we click on that, so we should move to that page, that component. So let's come here to the app.j6. First of all, I will import the React Router DOM browser router routes and also route from react router dom and after that let's use them so to use them let's write browser router and inside that we will write routes inside that route and here we will just specify the path uh, which will be for the registration login that would be register and the element would be yeah the no bar should be at the top always so for that let's import that here and element would be here is equal to it let's create the registration page so for that let's create a new component register the j6 open it export and let's import it here in the app j6 yeah, that has imported let's save it so now let's move to um, the now bar Just come here to the now bar and uh, just make it as a, a link. Okay, create a link from this. So to create link uh, from this, uh, let's write. This is React Router DOM link. Whenever we press this, we should move to the 
register page two is equal to to the register it will move to the register route and in the register it will move to the register component and one thing else let's add a class name here class name is equal to with the link now just come here and see it uh, where is the error we, need, we didn't import the link so let's import it let's uh, yeah let's import it from react auto dump that has imported so now let's move back yeah let's press this button so when you want to press this we should move to the registration page okay see we came to the register and this is register component which has imported so now let's write code for this registration page just come here and here we will just have um, sign up form or I will just add one another div here and let's add sign up form or just sign up and after that let's add a uh, form and in the forum we should have um, first of all a label let's create a new div inside that label that is for uh, name input is if text and this is for name okay let's uh, add two more copy this this is username username paste it here and this is for email change it to the email and one another for the password let's create a, a button for sign up and here down let's under the down let's have a break If you are not registered so then we will create one another button for login uh, if he already have account sorry login let's make it already have account if already have account so then you, you should move to the login page now I will just add some CSS code to this to design it so this is the registration component that we have designed so this is the CSS code that I have added so let's check it yeah from this place that has started from the first component the second view this is for the input fields for the buttons and also these are for button in separately different colors so it was all about the registration page and page that we have designed so now when you were we click on this login page so we should move to the uh, login uh, component login page so let's design it so instead of button we will just write a uh, link because we would like to move to the link or I can just write something like this let's link from react router down and let's wrap plugin inside link and after that uh, it will be let's check it save it and it is just the color has changed let's change the color of it so I have wrapped the button inside this link and the path is lagging we should move to this route now let's create this route first of all just come here and I will create a login route and after that let's create a component by the name of login the j6 let's import it inside after j6 
so now let's move there okay let's press the login button so we came to the login button see it is the login so now let's design the login page yeah that is easy to design the login page just come here to the register page and copy this code copy the code and come to the login page and just paste it here there and now just change these few things let's come here make it login and we will remove just the username we will just leave the email and password and just change this not registered so then I should, I should move to the register let's make it register or sign up yeah I think everything is ok let's just import styles style.css yeah let's check it now so I think we missed something yeah we yeah link is not imported here yeah it is okay it is the login page that we have designed so now let's uh, move to the sign up page so here whenever we register an account we should uh, um, insert that to the uh, database mongodb database before that uh, we should set up the boilerplate code for our server side and also mongodb database for mongodb database i am using mongodb compass which is a gui mode to manage the data and i have installed the mongodb uh, locally yeah let's connect with it yeah, i have uh, connected with it so now let's move to the server side code we will just write the code for our server side just come here to the server folder and to the file that we have created in index.js here we will write our um, boilerplate code which is necessary for every app so we will use all these packages okay express the framework of node.js mongos per mongodb this is for to access our api in front end bakery for password hashing jwt for token cookie for surf for cookie multer and path these two packages are used to upload a file and also this is we created an app then this expressed a json this means to parse the data to the json parameter when we pass from front end and this is that we have written in uh, inside the cars this means that we will access our um, uh, server side from this uh, 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 url okay our this is the path of our front end and we will use git and post and also other methods that we want to use like put and delete and credentials is equal to withdraw this is for the cookie in this is here we run our server up so now let's uh, run our server up so to run that let's create a new terminal and let's move to the servers folder and let's write npm um, one thing else that i should mention that is the package.json here to the scripts we should add start Uh, start node mount uh, then the file name file name is index.js after adding it so it will automatically refresh our server side of anywhere we make any changes and frame start so it will start our server yeah the server is running so server is running okay so now we will just write our apis and uh, to write uh, apis and then we will uh, register our uh, record first of all we will just sign up to the database so before let's create a database a new database here at the database let's come here to the database and we can create a new database by the name of blog and collection name if you want to for example the collection name is users let's create this database blog database and users collection so now we will use it to register the user inside it so before writing uh, api for registration for support we will just create connection with the mongo database so let's write mongos dot connect 
here we will just assign the uh, string okay the string we will copy that from mongodb compass okay let's come here and just press this copy connection string after connecting that just come here and paste that here yeah here we, uh, after that we will just specify our database name the database name is blog our connection has created so now let's move and just create the api for registration of that uh, for registration we will just use post method in the route would be register here we will create a function you will get request and response and after that we the data that we pass that is inside this request so to store it inside the user's uh, um, uh, collection or table so we need a model to create so let's create first of all a model for users let's just close this front end up and just come here inside the server I will create a new folder models and inside that let's create user model or GS, GS okay and inside it let's import const mongos is equal to require mongos now let's create the schema for our user table So the schema is const user schema is equal to new mongos dot schema. Let's specify the fields for our table. Those are like first of all username. Uh, type is string, and then we will specify email. Type is string, and password. Type string. We will specify just these three fields so now let's create model const user model is equal to mongos dot model here first of all we will specify the collection name or the table name which is users and the second one is the schema user schema now let's export it export module dot export is equal to user model now let's import it inside the index const user model is equal to require model slash user model so now let's create a user inside our table so for that we will use user model dot create and let's specify our fields here our fields are request dot body our fields are inside uh, um, request dot body dot then we will just uh, uh, get a users a user record instead of that and let's return it result dot json user that catch there was any error so result.json return that error and let's just specify remove this so now let's move to the front end whenever we press that sign up button so we should uh, register a new record okay let's come here yeah by pressing this uh, sign up button so we should call a function let's come here to the forum and we will call on submit event here handle submit this function let's create this function const handle submit is equal to we'll get an event here e dot prevent default it means prevent the default submission and after that we will use access library to just call our api uh, before that we will just store the data that we are entering inside this username email and password so to store that we just need uh, a three state variables const name set uh, or username username set user name is equal to use state hook and let's name it 
email and set email set email and the third one is the password and set password so now let's just assign the values to them for the, that we will use on change event and we will just create an arrow function and we will call sit username here we will assign e dot target dot value same to this we will write for email but there we will use sit email method and also for the password so it was all about to store the value inside those variables so now let's pass them to the server side so let's call xs first let's import it xs and now let's use it axis dot post and we will call the api okay so to call that for that we need uh, http localhost and our uh, um, port number our port number is this three double zero one okay this one is our port number three double zero one and then the route the route is register we would like to call this api okay register so after that we will pass our data so to pass data we will just write username email and password so after that uh, let's start then we will get a result let's console the result at catch we will get an error So now let's check it okay let's apply it uh, and we will just test it yeah this is our registration page so let's create a user may I assign a name it user come and password let's assign password uh, but uh, one thing else that uh, before uh, passing the password we should uh, uh, hash our password so to hash the password let's come here to the index.js and here i will just extract first of all the the fields const name username uh, email and password is equal to request.body after extracting them so now let's first of all uh, hash the password let's write bcrypt we have imported it dot hash so it will just change our password to hash see this is the bcraft uh, library that hash so uh, we will pass two parameters to this method the first one is the password the second one is the salt that we should define the salt is just uh, uh, a number that we will specify for example 10 okay it will generate 10 unique character with every password after that dot then so it will generate the hash password to us let's now cut this code and paste it inside this dot cage error and just come here to um, instead of user body i will just define now the fields like a uh, username email and password is equal to with hash so it will just uh, now store the hash password so we did it okay so now let's um, check it let's come here and just assign fields five let's press sign up button yeah let's uh, press the sign up button so let's check it uh, let's move to the console what we got in the result uh, we returned a user it means access error access error 
so it has returned access error so let's check it where is the error and let's move to the register page and here access dot post it will be local host it is okay and register that is also okay and we pass to the name email and password everything is okay here but let's move to the index.js register yeah, so let's change this uh, local host to um, one to seven sometime it uh, gives uh, the error dot zero dot zero dot one to change it to the local host ip address yeah let's come here and let's press sign up button so data has uh, successfully entered okay so now let's check the our database yeah let's uh, come to the user and just let's refresh it see we got this re record okay this is the password email and username so we successfully re inserted a record so now let's move to the login page let's come here to the login page i will just copy the same code that i wrote I, as i wrote here because we need these things in login page also but instead i will just remove this username we will just log in as email and password and also let's import use state hook and use effect hook and also access access has imported yeah we imported all packages but uh, let's uh, l remove this username here and here we will call the method on submit on submit handle submit yeah so it will just pass uh, yeah it is okay so now whenever we come here so we should uh, uh, move to the login you are login route yeah let's come here and we will create now the login route up dot post and yeah, let's create login request and response yeah we never we come here so let's start first of all email and password const email and password is equal to request at body and after that first we will just uh, check the email is this email registered with us or not so let's use our user model to find the record dot find one okay it will just find one and we will just pass email okay based on this email it will find our record so whenever it find the record so then it will uh, get our the user to us it will return that user to us now we will check if the user was available if that user was available so now we will just run our code other code here but if that was not available so let's result response to json we will return that uh, mm, the user not exist okay it means mm, and a user uh, based on this email is not available in the database so if the user was available so now we will compare our password first so bcrypt dot compare and here we will pass our password first of all that we pass from front end and the second parameter would be user dot front end uh, user dot password this is from the database okay the database uh, password and let's create a callback function now error and response now let's check if response it means if the response it if, if the response was true it means that password compare um, checked okay it is okay the password is okay it matched so then we will return that uh, login successfully else we will just return result uh, json password is incorrect So if that was okay, if the password match, so then we will generate a token first. Const token is equal to, or we will use a, a JSON uh, web token for the JWT. We have imported it, okay? JSON JWT dot sign. So it will generate a token for us. First of all, we will just specify the payload. Then the we will specify the key. After that, we have the third part, which is optional. So let's first of all define the uh, payload. The payload first we will just store our email. The email is equal to user.email. We will store our email in this and also username. 
user name user dot user name this was the payload section and the second uh, para uh, parameter the second parameter is the secret key this should be a secret key no one should know about this this should be in a separate file that env but we will just specify here like jwt secret key it is our secret key and the third parameter is the optional which we will specify expires in for example one day okay this token will specify will expire in one day so now we will store this uh, token in, in cookies so to store it inside the cookies we will just use response dot cookie here the uh, name that is token and the second uh, parameter is the value that is token that we has generated so it will be stored in, in the cookies and the last let's return response dot json uh, just return uh, success okay so now let's check it okay let's move to the login page so whenever we log in successfully we should uh, just uh, yeah we will just print the result first of all let's check it okay let's come here to the login and let's uh, refresh it and let's move to the login page and let's uh, login as yourself at gmail.com and here the password five let's press the login page c data user not exist it means that uh, this email user user at gmail.com not uh, exists so let's check where is the error just come here to the index so our code is okay we don't have any email we just extract email and password from request start body so let's move to the login access start post we will login email and password everything is okay so let's uh, refresh it where is the error it's the same gmail.com five let's press login button user not exist so what is the error so the problem is that we didn't store the data in this uh, variable state variables in email and uh, password so let's uh, just come here to the register and we should copy this line copy this one copy it and just paste it in the uh, email section and also this was for the email and for the password we will just change this to the set password so now we will check it okay just come here and we have written it so let's write the password let's press login button so let's refresh it once it gmail.com and so success see it means that the day the email matched and the passwords are also okay uh, in our login api we also generated the token and we store that in the cookie so let's check the cookies let's come here to the application and we will check the cookies here. see we have this token okay this is the token which has generated and this is the key of token so we store the cookie inside cookies and also we logged in successfully so now let's come here to the login uh, first come to the register whenever we register successfully so we should move directly to the login page and just come here uh, when we log in successfully then let's move to the um, directly to the login page so for that we need to use navigate hook from react router dom yeah that has imported from react router dom and now let's uh, create an instance of that const navigate is equal to use navigate and now just let's use the navigate so here i will write navigate just wait uh, should move to the login uh, route we need to move to the login and here in the login whenever we login successfully we should move to the um, uh, home page here we will just write app result dot data dot success data was equal to equal to with success we will return success okay if the result the data was success so then we will just move to the home page so let's create the home component and just come here and we will create a new component by the name of home dot jsx 
and just come here to the login and in the login we will use navigate now uh, we didn't export it the navigate here in the login section so let's first of all import it use navigate hook that has imported from react auto dom and let's create an instance of that navigate is equal to use navigate and let's use it now let's move to the home page Our, our home route would be just simple slash okay that would be our uh, home component uh, let's create one for that that would be home yeah the home was imported just a simple slash so let's log in now to the system gmail.com and one two three four five let's press login so we came to the home component okay see it is the home component so now we will design the home component before um, designing the home component whenever um, we log into the system so we should see here just the logout button okay instead of register login so we should see just the um, uh, logout button here then we can log out successfully So for this uh, logic, I need to implement this uh, functionality inside the now bar. Okay, just come here to the now bar. So here I will check if uh, um, the user was logged in. So then we will uh, create a um, print uh, display the button of logout instead of register login. So for that, I need to create a can use context API for to create a global state and to access the user data in all components. So just come here to the app.jsx. I will create context API. Create context yeah context api has imported from react so now let's create it const uh, user um, context is equal to create context and also let's export it export it uh, user context yes so now let's use it we will use provider with this user context just come here and let's write a uh, user context dot provider and let's cut it and wrap all the component inside this uh, and here we will pass the value value is equal to so here i will just uh, use the user information the user data and uh, pass to this uh, value so to pass the user information we need uh, to Mm, just fetch the information from our server side if the user was logged in uh, the, it, we, we will check that inside our server so let's uh, use use effect hook let's write array dependency and here i will just call the um, axis it's imported dot git so we will just get a uh, user information okay dot uh, then we will get a user here dot cage we will get uh, an error console dot log error so we will get the user information okay right now i didn't uh, store them inside the user context but i will store them later so let's first of all move to our server side up and here i will implement that uh, api so to implement that api that was uh, app dot git and here the this is the route for that get request and response and after that uh, let's so here i will implement one another um, api one another middleware so to check that okay so let's implement that const verify user is equal to request response and also next next is used to call whenever we it means if everything was okay so then we will call next and next will move just here come back here so to call this middleware we will just come here verify a user okay so whenever i come to this route so first of all it will call this middleware so when it ensured from that side so then it will come to this body so let's come here to implement our user authentication here is the user logged in or not 
So here for suppose we will read the token from cookie. So to read the token, let's write const token is equal to request dot cookies cookies dot and the token. Okay, this was the name of the token. If the token was available, so then we will just uh, let's come here. But uh, to read the token, we should write cookies dot token token. And now let's check it if uh, the token was uh, not available if not token so then we will just return response to json uh, return the token the token is missing else if the token was available so then we will check it and we will verify it so for that we will again use jwt jwt dot verify and here we will pass our token and here we will just write our secret key okay this key our secret key was uh, jwt secret key okay let's copy this one and we will write it here and after that the third parameter is the function and we will get an error and also response or decoded values the, the payload the data that we have passed decode it so now let's check it if there was error if the error was available so then we will return response to json the token the token is wrong else there was no error so then we will just uh, first of all we will write request dot email is equal to decoded decoded sorry decoded dot email we have decoded before the email and the username let's come here to the see this was the our payload email and username and now just come here and request dot username is equal to decoded dot username and after that we will call next so it will move back to mm, this uh, route and this api so now we will just return here let's write const um, email or let's simply return return response dot json you will return email which is uh, request dot email before we attached and also the uh, username uh, decode a request dot username um, yes mm, I think yeah it's okay so after returning them let's come here back to g 6 so here inside it we will just return uh, an object so let's first of all console it okay console.log user so just come here to the chrome browser so we got an error that is uh, uh, value yeah the value is missing so let's write here something like okay yes empty hurry yeah so let's move to the console what we get in the result we are logged in or not it means the token is stored in console is token is stored or not a fail to load the server localhost response with status of it means we faced with an error so just come here to the user effect oh sorry we should write uh, http localhost 3001 and this is our route so let's go now back see we got this request fail with CD score again we failed uh, we faced with an error so let's check it where is the error yeah there is uh, an error in our route let's save it and let's come here back see the token is missing it means that we are not logging there is no token inside so data the token is missing so let's check is the token available or not application so i think we have the token yeah the token is stored but uh, let's check our, our server side uh, where is the error uh, but one thing else i should note that let's write here uh, access access dot default start with credentials is equal to true this is important okay whenever we are writing accessing the cookies yeah now we got this data see the data we got uh, email and username that is okay 
so we got our data so now let's store the data inside an object so let's create that const uh, user sit user uh, is equal to use state hook and this is an object with us so now let's store the user inside uh, um, our user so let's store sit user and we will store uh, pass just to uh, user dot data yeah I think uh, we will just write uh, like this that is okay so user the data it will be stored inside the user so now let's pass to the value user so to read now this user information so we just need let's come here to the login and uh, to the now bar so here to read the data from um, context api first of all we will import that we will import use context yeah that has imported so now let's just uh, create uh, import this uh, uh, user context that we have created before yeah this user context so to import it let's write import user context from upload jsx after that now let's read the data const user is equal to a uh, use context and we will pass user context to that so it will just read our data from user so now let's check it okay here we will just uh, just come here app uh, user dot uh, username username was existed so if username was existed so then we will just print this data else uh, so we should change it to the question mark else we will just print this data okay let's cut it and we will paste it here just come here yeah. that is okay so uh, here we will just print uh, a button or it will be just an input type and the type would be button and value is equal to um, here we should now print the uh, la lagout so now let's check it see right now we printed the logout but we should make it we should design it a little bit yeah I have added some CSS code some CSS design for that okay this is background transparent border color and font fit I have added this to that Net, let's come here to the now bar so it was a, it is our input field now <coughs> so now let's add logout functionality whenever we press logout button so we should uh, log out from the system so let's come here so this is the logout button okay so let's whenever we click on this let's add unclick event handle logout let's create this method now handle logout const handle logout is equal to create an arrow function and here we will just use access and we will call our server side to remove the cookies uh, that we have stored so now let's uh, just I will use access library dot git and we will call uh, HTTP localhost then the port number after that logout uh, route and then we will just get a result and what we want to do when we get the result dot catch console.log error so whenever we get the result so we should uh, uh, move back to them that means whenever we press the um, uh, logout button so we should reload the page from scratch so for that I will just write window dot uh, we will use use navigate hook for that to reload the page so you use navigate is already imported let's just write const navigate is equal to use navigate and let's now use that just come here and navigate it just assign zero it means it will refresh the same page and let's now create this api inside our server app so just come here app dot git route name is logout and we'll get a request and response 
so let's uh, uh, clear the cookies to clear that let's write uh, result dot clear cookie and let's assign the name of the cookie which was token after that we will just return response.json for example success okay you will return success so whenever we come here so here uh, when we get the result we will just write uh, if result uh, data was equal to equal to with success so then um, no so yeah here so then we will reload the page okay so let's check it okay let's come here to the chrome let's refresh our page like right now we are logged in so let's press log out see we logged out from the system and we came back to the login and register let's uh, log in back let's write here sub gmail.com five let's press the login so we logged in but this uh, didn't update it so for that uh, let's come here to the login instead of navigate uh, we will just write uh, window dot location dot href is equal to with slash okay it will move to the home router uh, because the use navigate will not navigate and uh, um, uh, reload the page so for that purpose i just use this javascript so now let's again try that okay let's log out let's log in again Email. Come five and let's press log login. See, we logged into the system here. We um, just saw the logout button. So we uh, just perform the functionalities of login registration and logout functionalities. Now the third functionality, um, this functionality would be like whenever we press this create button, so we should create a new post and also we should display all the blog posts here on the screen. So let's first of all, whenever we create this, whenever we click this create button, so we should move to create a new post, blog post. Okay, so let's come here to the now bar. In the now bar, just come here to the create and we will just change it to the link. and also let's copy link control C and just paste it here and just add in, instead of each we will add two is equal to we will move to the create it means that we will create a new post so after that let's move to object g6 and add that route so to add that route let's copy this paste it here and let's just cut it a little bit yeah i will just change it to the create and now let's create a new component and we will add that here just come here and let's create create post.jsx let's import it inside app.jsx instead of this create post so now let's click uh, on that and this create so we came to the create post in this component so now let's add uh, the design of create post first of all we will select an image the title and also the description so let's just come here to the create post component and here we will add another div and inside this div we will just add uh, a form the form will contain uh, first of all uh, for the um, title and input field for the title and also text area for the description and that would be for the description yeah that is okay and the second one would be for file input for file okay to upload uh, to upload a file and the last one would be a button for submit or just post so these are the input fields in this form so now let's check them so these are the input fields okay so i will just design it i will add some css design for this so it will looks like better so now i will just pause the video to add the design 
so i have added the css design to this it looks like this okay now so now let's uh, store the wheel this is the css code that we has added okay these are a few lines of code so now whenever we write something in these input fields so we should store them uh, somewhere in a variable let's create state variables for that cons first of all the title sit title go to use state and const description sit description is equal to use state const file sit file equal to use state it was all about this so now let's store the values inside them so whenever we are writing something here so let's call unchange event we will get an arrow function and call sit title call a dot target dot value same to this do with the description also copy this and just paste it here instead of sit title just call sit description after that just uh, come here to the file and paste that here instead of sit title the right sit file either target dot files zero okay just take the zero on the first file and store that inside the file so now whenever um, we press this post button so we should uh, submit this post and we should store that inside the database so let's first of all just call a function let's call it uh, on submit just call handle submit this function just come here const sorry handle submit is equal to we'll get an event e dot free event fault i will just come here to the here to the login and i will copy this code copy the code and just come here and because to not waste the time okay we we, we want to write the same code okay let's just import the axis and the axis has imported and also you we should import yeah that is okay here we should just call now create instead of plugin and also we will pass uh, title uh, then we will pass the uh, description or I can just name it description description okay that is okay copy this name and just paste it here and after that uh, call the file pass the file so now first of all we will just uh, create the database per our um, post uh, and after that we will uh, write the api for that so first of all we will create the table of posts just come here to our server site and we will create a model okay we will create a new model let's come here wrap it and come here to the models create a new one that would be post model dot js and inside post model let's copy this all code control a control c and just come here to the post and paste it here instead of username now we have the um, our title and description description and also the file so the file name that is also string we will just store the name of the file okay other file will be stored inside here in the server so let's change the collection name that would be posts and user schema it should be post schema post schema and also post model and export it control c control v let's import it inside index so to import it let's just come here and here we will write const post model is equal to require that slash models slash post model so after importing the post model let's come here so first we need to uh, when we are writing the api for our um, 
post to be inserted to the database first we should verify is this user logged in or not and the second one is to upload first the file then we will insert the record in the database so for that let's first of all light up that post that is create and here the first middleware that would be um, to verify user okay verify user we have already created this one let's check this verify middleware yeah this is the verify middleware uh, let's come here this one okay first it will check the token then if that was okay again it will check the uh, token if that was valid if everything was okay so then it will come back here okay so then it it means that it, it returned true so when it returned true we will call the second middleware which is file uploading i will pa um, upload that uh, i will just call that later so first let's create the callback method request and response So let's now first of all we should upload the file whenever we get data from our front end so we should first upload the file to our server side here we will create a folder for that and then we will um, uh, insert the data in the uh, database so to upload the file first let's specify the storage for that we will want to store storage is equal to multer that storage inside it we will define just the file name and the destination first of all destination create a file request file and callback method uh, but uh, this is uh, disk storage ok so here we will call the callback method and first we will pass null that is the error we will not handle that in the second one is we will just specify where we want to store our image we will store in the public images in this folder we will store our images let's start here call back so let's create uh, that uh, public first of all public folder and inside public we will create one another folder by the name of uh, sorry we will create a folder by the name of images we have created these two folders so our image will be stored here and the second parameter is the um, uh, file name again the request file and callback method here again we will call callback method first we will pass null and the, for the second we will just specify now the file name how to store which name we should assign to our file name for the image that we are uploading from front end we will just change the name of that so we will write file dot field name field name okay field field name this is the name that we passed from front end what was the name of that that was file okay we have assigned then we will just um, attach a underscore with that after that we will just uh, um, attach date dot now with that this method okay it will change the date to the millisecond and it will attach with that and after that extension name uh, yeah extend extension name uh, path that extension name after that we will assign file dot original name what it will do so first of all it will take file dot fill name fill name is for example we assigned uh, the front end file okay file plus underscore uh, plus the date after that it will attach extension for example that is png a gpg what type of extension is that it will attach that with it so it was all about that so now let's create uh, the storage mm, let's just come here uh, under this we will just write const upload for example we will name it upload is equal to multer and we will assign this to the storage parameter the storage that we have created okay so now we will call this upload here upload <coughs> dot single okay we can pass multiple files but we want to pass just a single what is the name the field name the field name is for example we assigned file this is the field name that we have assigned so now let's first of all we will print okay whenever we press uh, the post button we will print all the thing console.log request dot file so it will print as the file just come here to the terminal 
to the server side yeah here again we got an error A user schema is not defined. Oh, let's user schema is not defined. Let's close this and where is the error? So, yeah, post schema, post schema. You know, yeah, yeah, it, this is post schema. So, now let's move back to the terminal, and here we will just now. Let's press the submit button. Uh, let's select the file. For example, we selected this file. Let's press the post button. And let's come here to the terminal and define. It means we didn't get the file. We didn't uh, title, description, and file. Just come here to the index.js. Yeah, we uh, upload that single file. Press that file so to pass the file we need forum data object to use that let's come here to the create post and here we will create a, a forum data object just come here const forum data is equal to new forum data after creating the object let's use that forum data dot append and we will name it for example title title and the data is the title after that we will just use description description and description after that file we will add file to that now let's pass forum data object forum data yeah we will check it now for file uploading we need forum data object let's refresh our page and let's select an image and let's come here to the terminal let's press post button just come here see we printed all the data related to that this is the uh, field name file name okay mem type that is png destination public images file name path and this is the size okay let's check the images folder right now we have them see this image has uploaded here so now let's store that inside the table the table okay to store that just come here and here we will use mm -hmm. So to store the record, we will use post model dot create. It will create that, and first we will assign the title. The title is, is equal to request dot body dot title, and second is the um, description, and that is uh, request dot body dot uh, um, description. The third one is the file. File is equal to with the request.file.file dot file name mm, let's now make it enter here just and and just press enter here and here we will just write that then it will give us a response or result let's uh, result dot json we will return that result dot catch if there was any error response.json return the error so let's try it what happened okay let's come here and just try the title um, this is the first blog post and this is our first blog post and let's select an image the image is already selected and let's press the um, post button and let's uh, and check it Mm, yeah, we will check the console. What is the uh, response that we got? Sorry, mm, we should move back to. I just let's close it and just move to um, inspect to the console. Uh, it means we paste with an access error. So let's check it. 
uh, let's move to the database yeah the database yeah we have the posts table and also the record that we has inserted okay there is no error with us okay let's uh, insert a second one this is the uh, second blog post second blog post okay let's select another one uh, yeah for example let's select this and let's press post button and let's come here to the table and let's refresh it see this is the second record this is the second black post so now the third step is now we will move whenever we create a post so just come here to the chrome whenever we create a post we should uh, move directly to the home page and we see all the posts on our home page so for that just come here to the uh, create post whenever we create a post successfully and yeah http create uh, result the data success so then we should move to um, the home page so let's check what we return from create okay we will later on that then result result adjacent we will later on uh, we will leave re result we will just return success so now whenever we create a new post so we will directly move to the uh, home page and also let's whenever we press on this home we should move to the home page let's come here to the now bar now bar dot gsx and to this home and this should be link copy this paste it here and one thing else whenever we are not logged into the system we should not see this create button okay it means that we cannot create a post so for that uh, let's um, implement the same logic as we have implemented here if user dot user name was existed so then we will just print this one uh, else we cannot print that okay we will leave that uh, empty so let's go to now let's press home page so we came to the home page so now here we will pitch all the records and we will display them on the screen just come here and um, move to the home page home.j6 So to pitch the record we will use use effect hook. Let's just come here and we will use use effect hook and let's write a read dependency. Here we will pitch all the records using axis. Let's import axis dot git slash for example uh, git records git records uh, or git posts git posts and yeah here we should write HTTP local host local host 3001 and then git posts we will move to this URL and get all the posts that then we will just get posts and let's console them all console dot log posts and if there was any error so we should print that on the console cage console.log error so let's first of all um, create this git posts api so to create it let's move to the index uh, sorry yeah just come here and we will create that git posts uh, api app dot git the route is uh, git posts we will get request and response create this method and we will pitch all the records so for that we will use post model dot find okay we will use find it will fetch all the records that then we will get uh, posts posts and just result dot json return the posts dot cage if there was any error so just uh, print uh, 
result.json error so now let's move to the home page yeah we are on the home page right now let's move to the console and we will see all the records all the posts uh, on the console we paste within access error so let's refresh this page see we got this data okay let's see it uh, this is the data see this is these are two records that we paste okay title and uh, id file and we have everything so now let's display these records so to display these records we will use uh, create a variable first of all for that state variable let's create that const posts sit posts is equal to use state and uh, this is an object with us okay we will create an object and this uh, object will have uh, the um, title which is an empty string uh, description uh, description also an empty string and pile which is an empty string uh, and after that uh, we will just update this uh, object based on this data that we got uh, but this that we have returned that is an array but instead of object we will create array yeah this is an array with us so here we will just write now um, sit posts posts dot data we will pass the name post as data as you see here post dot data it will just uh, pass it and store them in the posts so now let's print them so to print them for that uh, we will just come here create for another div and inside it we will just print now our data so to print that uh, let's create first of all posts dot uh, map we will use map function post and here we will uh, first uh, let's first of all just print the um, title and the uh, description for example h3 just I will print the titles post dot title title let's save it and let's check it see we just printed the uh, titles so we would like to pitch uh, on this left side the image and then the title and down the description so for that uh, I will just write the code so this was the HTML code that I wrote for um, displaying the posts first two okay then the, I displayed the image then I displayed the title and the description how I displayed the image uh, first of all I wrote the URL the path to the server side okay to this folder that we have okay come here to the server side to this folder okay HTTP localhost to the images okay we can access directly the images folder from our server side okay this images then the post dot file the image name okay we store just these names okay in the database then first this route then the name of the image so how I access this uh, so for the server side we need to write this okay this one line of code okay op that use express that static that public it means that public we can access our public folder wherever we want so we can access that so by writing that so we access our image like this okay this is the route to this image okay that we have to this image okay this is the route after that we just wrote the name of these this okay this is the first name that we wrote the second and the third one okay we wrote these name these norm are these names are stored in the database we fetch them from database so we displayed them they looks like this okay so these are the uh, black posts that we have we have two posts in our, in our uh, database okay these two posts so now let's whenever we want to click on this we should uh, read this post okay after reading this post uh, we will just uh, edit or delete this post the one who is the who is the owner the one who wrote this post he can update or delete this post so whenever we click on this post we should move to um, display all these components in a separate component okay so for that uh, let's come here to the where i displayed those posts yeah i displayed them here so instead of this view i will just wrap these all in link in react router dom link let's cut it and just come here and down and paste it here and here i will just assign to 
uh, it should goes to post okay to post um, route so let's come here to the update JSX and we will add a post uh, route and we will just pass the ID also so just come here to the home and pass the ID to this with this link so to pass uh, the ID we will just write here slash instead of this I will write directly and here I will write post slash uh, the ID post dot ID because the ID is saved like this with underscore in the database so now let's create post component and we will display the post inside that post.jsx react functional component export and here first I will get the ID so to get the ID I will write const ID is equal to use params this params hook will just paste the ID from URL and uh, now I will pitch record based on this ID and display that so let's write use effect here let's just write access dot git http local host three double zero one slash uh, we will get uh, by id this would be our route uh, get by id or git post yeah git uh, post by id and after that uh, then we will get a result we can store the <coughs> result somewhere So to store the result we will just let's create const post sit post is equal to use state hook so it is an object so let's store that inside an object and here we will just call sit post uh, we will write result dot and data after sorting that so now let's print that data so to print that data we will just try it so here we will write first let's print the image and the image to display the image that would be like http localhost three double zero one slash images slash uh, we will just write the path post dot um, pile and after that uh, we will just display the title h2 post dot title and also let's display post dot description so now let's uh, just create this route okay git post by id so let's come here to the index touches So we should also pass the ID so just come here to the po to the post yeah here and we should pass ID so to pass the ID we will just write plus ID and just come here and here we will grab the ID once the ID is equal to request dot params dot ID so after grabbing the ID now we will just use post model dot find 
by id and here we will just pass the id is equal to with the id that we have that then we will get the post result adjacent return the post in that cage console.log error so let's check it now uh, we faced with an error so let's move to the console so it says the link is not defined yeah we in home.g6 let's come here to the home yeah we didn't import it the link from react out down let's check it now yeah that is okay but uh, uh, we should remove all these uh, things from this so let's just come here um, I will yeah it looks like this but uh, I will remove the uh, this underline and also I will design it okay I will add the CSS design to this it is the reason is just that we have added this uh, and link to this uh, post so to add the CSS design let's uh, just I will just cut it and add it here and remove this too and also this one after removing this so after removing that let's add some design to this post just come here to the style to the post text decoration none and color black yeah it looks like this whenever we press this we should move to yeah we should move to the post just come here to the home and link to post slash uh, id okay we should move to this route uh, post and slash post dot id come here to the after j6 and come here to the post yeah here we should write the post yeah that has imported so now let's move back to our home page refresh our page and let's press this one so we paste with an error it means we didn't pitch the record successfully let's come here to the console fail to load sources server responded it means the route didn't find there so let's check it here we should add the id slash id let's save it and let's come here back let's refresh it and we will it means uh, request a failed with status uh, 404 you know error in the server side yeah const id params dot id find by id result json post let's just come here to the post so the problem is that we should add a slash before this route okay in the uh, server pile let's add this slash and let's refresh it so we got that data that record okay and we store that in the user and we read that so now let's i will add some css design to this so i have added some css design it looks like this okay i will not add more design because we will not focus on the design so now the last functionality is that uh, the one who is for example i posted this post so i should be able to edit and delete this post we will add two, two buttons here at the bottom and we can uh, edit and delete this post so for that let's come here and we will move to the post here at the bottom we will add just uh, two buttons let's add button and this one is for the edit and the second one is for the delete yeah, I will just uh, remove them let's cut this one and I will post it here and one another button delete so let's check them yeah they looks like this uh, but mm, I will just add something or I will just 
this theme here yeah they are here the width of them is full um, but so let's wrap these two buttons inside a div they looks like this okay so now let's whenever we press edit we should update uh, we should be able to update this post so let's come here uh, and click so for the edit first i will just change this button to the link react auto dom link yeah and also let's change it and we should move to the another component to is equal to and we will move to the edit section or post edit post edit slash we will pass the id to this uh, um, route so to pass the id for that we will just try it simply edit post edit post slash uh, we will pass the id we will just try it something like uh, um, post dot uh, underscore id so whenever we pass this id to this route so now let's create this route up the j6 and let's change it to the edit post slash id and here we will go let's create another component edit post dot j6 react functional component export and let's import it inside this state of this edit post so let's now check it okay whenever we press this edit so we should come to the edit post uh, we came to the edit post it means uh, edit post yeah that is okay just come here to the let's come here to the post and we should move to the enter the slash let's press this one let's move here and let's press this button so we came here to the editor uh, post component so here we will just create a new um, component a new forum uh, same to as we have created a new um, post so i will just move to the create post and i will just uh, copy all of this code and paste it inside control a control v just i will change these names because we would like to perform the same uh, functionality paste it here so now we want to update the title description and also the file these three are okay and here we need the forum data okay to fast them again and here we need the post and also we will just change this edit post edit post and we will post uh, edit it based on the id so let's first of all grab the id so to grab the id we will just write here const so const id is equal to we use forums use forums hook so it will grab the id from url uh, and after that uh, we will just uh, create use effect and we will fetch the record uh, let's use use effect first we will fetch the record and we will store them in that forum that we want to edit and to pitch the record so we will come here to the post and we will do something as we did before because we will call the same route we would like to pitch a record based on the id paste it here so after so let's create now uh, a new state variable as we had here copy this and just come here to the edit post and paste it here so after here we will just uh, update our post and here we will just try it so instead of uh, writing this post i will remove first of all the file also we want to edit the uh, description and the title and also let's remove this one 
and whenever we pitch the record we will just update these two fields title and also the description so uh, to update them uh, because we want to first of all uh, see the values here okay whenever we uh, want to edit the uh, record we should see the previous title and description so for that we will do whenever we fix the record we will just update our uh, set title result dot data dot uh, um, title same to this I will just update uh, seat description and instead of this I will just write seat description so after updating them and whenever we update these two so now let's just come here and here I in these two input fields first I will remove this file and after that uh, here I will write in this uh, title one value is equal to with the title that we have updated right now that is okay let's remove this yeah now leave it yeah title and description and also here I will write um, value is equal to with the um, description so let's check it now see we have the previous title and description so whenever we update them by pressing this button so let's just uh, change it to the update and also this one to the update post so when update when we update the data so we should uh, call this handle submit button handle submit button so here we will just pass our let's remove this forum data object was just for the file purpose so here i will pass title and description control set description after passing them so now let's uh, we will move to the um, edit post i will just change it to the yeah edit post edit post with the id i will pass id also plus id okay that id that we have grabbed from a use param hook so now let's move to create this edit post api just come here to the index.js yeah just come here up dot git dot uh, yeah that is update not post we should change that to the put method axis dot put and just come here axis dot put and that is uh, edit post with id and here we will get request and response So here we will just update now our um, data. So first we will just grab the ID const ID is equal to request dot params dot ID and after that we will use post model dot pind pind and um, pind by ID and update. Let's find pass first of all the data the ID. Yeah, the ID is equal to with ID and the title is equal to with the request dot body dot title and the description is equal to and assign the request dot body dot description. So after writing this, uh, so now we will get that thing. We will get a result. Just result dot JSON. Return result dot cage. Result dot JSON. Response dot JSON. Uh, error. So this was update. Uh, 
API so now let's check it okay so to check it let's come here we will just update this is our first uh, blog post with the updation for example okay I have added this so let's press the update button so whenever we update so let's check what what will happen in the update section yeah here whenever we update that we should just directly move to the uh, home page um, it means that we should return yeah we should return the success So let's press update so this is our first blog post it means that uh, that has not updated let's check it uh, no error and also let's check it in the console we didn't face with any error but let's check uh, where is the error that the post has not updated let's check our database let's refresh it yeah this is our first blog that has not updated yeah the problem is that whenever we want to update a record so we should like the write like this okay first of all we should specify the id then we should specify other fields okay first we specify the id then other fields are title and description so now let's check it what happened let's press this one and let's press the edit button and let's press with update functionality for example okay let's press the update button so again that has not updated let's check our database that has not updated and we specified the id so one problem <coughs> problem is that that i have missed spell this title I was missed the T just so let's check it now again with update so let's press update see that has updated okay so we successfully update our post one thing else that it should not uh, load whenever we update that so instead of this window dot location we will use uh, use navigate hook use navigate hook and let's use this now create an instance of that const navigate is equal to use navigate and here I will use navigate and move to the home page const let's save it and now let's check the second one and let's press the update by edit button and let's put uh, with the update functionality for example okay let's press the update now see that has updated successfully so now let's perform the deletion whenever we press the delete button so we should successfully delete that re um, record that post so just come here to the post and on click let's come here on click we will call handle delete and just come here const handle delete is equal to we will just get the id also here so to pass the id we will just create an arrow function we will just pass post that id so after passing the id just let's sketch that here now we will use just uh, access that access dot delete and we will use this route control c control v let's add quotation and here i will just change it to the delete post after that we will get this response control c and here we will just use now instead of this window dot location window dot location at reload 
so just come here to move to the delete post API and come here and we will create that app.delete our route is uh, delete post and we will get an ID request and response so to delete a record we will just use post model dot find find and delete or find and remove so let's specify the ID the ID is request dot forums dot ID that then we will get a response result and that would be response dot json for example success dot cage let's save it and just come here and let's press this uh, delete button uh, we paste with an error so let's check it where is the error let's write yeah it means the pile and the read to pile to reading the file in the post component yeah, instead of that whenever we reload we should move to the uh, just come here instead of reload we should move to the home okay we will use use navigate instead of this let's import use navigate let's create an instance of that const navigate is equal to use navigate and here we will just use navigate and we will move to the home page it means that now I reload the same page again let's refresh it and let's create a new one let's add it this is third blog post this is yeah it is blah 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 let's select an image with that for example what is react hoax and let's press the post button so we came here so let's now delete it for example so let's press delete button so we came back here so that has deleted so the last functionality is that for example um, I have posted this okay so I should be able to edit and delete this one no one else should delete and edit uh, edit so these um, two buttons should be showed for the one who is uh, um, uh, to whom it belongs so for that for some purpose uh, we need to um, just uh, whenever we are creating so we should pass the username the one who is logged in so we should pass for example the email or the username with that post whenever we are creating a new post just come here uh, first of all i will add to the database so to add to the database we will come here and to the server side in the server side come here to the post model i will add a username or email to this because the email is unique uh, after adding the email so we should uh, just come here again let's remove all these things so whenever we are creating a new post so we should uh, um, yeah let's come here to the create post we should pass the email also how to pass the email we already um, performed the context api whenever we want to read the user information so we can just access them using context api so to read those data so we will just come here to the now bar as we did in the now bar we will perform the same functionality we used to use context hook okay let's just come here to the create post yeah create post and let's close it first I will import use context from react after that user context user context from app.j6 so let's import user context from that slash app.j6 ok let's uh, move to the app.j6 see this is the um, context ok a user context after importing that so now we will use it so to use it again come to the now bar we did that we implemented that here we will do like this okay something like this let's copy it and paste it here 
after pasting it so now we have the user information here so whenever we are passing the data we will pass email also to that forum data dot paint email email uh, user dot email so when we pass the email to the um, index okay let's close it let's come to here to the index to the server side up and just come here to the create so here we will uh, store and the email also file is equal to with this uh, and also we should uh, store the email email is equal to with the request dot body dot email so it will store the email so now let's uh, try it what happened so let's create a new one this is our test log let's uh, select an image let's post it so after posting so now let's move to the database let's refresh it so we added the email okay we have this email like now so now let's come here to the post again we will leave the information here uh, the user information so so to, how to read the user information first we will do as we did in here we will just import the user context use context from react and also user context from app.js6 after that we will just do as we did here let's copy this control c it and just paste it here yeah we read the information per context api after reading that so now let's check we uh, pitch the you uh, the posts from um, our server side based on the id okay whenever we pitch that here um, under these two buttons i will write if the user dot email was equal to equal to with post dot email if these two are equal okay I pitch the user information here I have the user information here and the post data that I pitch from server side that is here in inside this post if these two are equal it means that the with the record which is in the database and the record which we have stored the one who is logged in if these two are um, equal so then he will be able just to do it to update the data else nothing will be displayed to him so let's save it now let's move to the chrome right now those two are equal okay i would like to register um let's log log out from the system whenever we log out the, from the system so right now see we are not able to um, see that uh, blog post because okay let's come here let's move to this we don't we can't see those two okay those two buttons and also we can't create a new um, a record so let's uh, register as a new record dot com so that is the username let's sign up we sign up to see let's log in as our gmail.com five and let's log into the system so we logged in see we cannot update and delete the because this post was done by usep so let's again log out and log into the system five and let's log into the system so let's move now here see we can we can uh, edit and delete this post so it was all about um, our uh, blog app that you saw you saw everything about blog app uh, how to create a new record how to um, create a new uh, login how to sign up how to hash the password how to use tokens and also role based you did we did uh, a lot of things okay i hope this video was helpful for you you learned something from this video so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching